Welcome to my channel. Let's do this. Hey guys, so iOS 14 is here. So let's go ahead and show you some of the cool iOS 14 updates right here. Um, first then you have to go to your settings and your accessibility and then your touch and you're going oh, all the way down to back tap. You can turn that on and then tap on the double tap and you can go on to screenshot. This way what happens when you double tap it will do a screenshot for you. Isn't that neat? The second one is if you go to your iMessage, say for example you want to reply to one message, you can pull you want to reply to one message, you can just tap on it and then you will hit reply just for that particular message and say OK and send. Another cool feature that I like is the widgets right here. You have to long press on the screen and hit the plus sign on top right here and you can search for all the widgets out here and you can just for example say the battery you can choose small one medium or large and then you can just go ahead and hit add widget and it will add it to the main screen isn't that cool the best part is you can actually even stack it on top of each other so right now I don't need it so I'll get rid of it and then as you can see I stacked up my widgets here on top of each other it's pretty cool right and another one is you can actually scroll through your apps pretty quickly right here like that very simple and then now whenever you install a new app you can go to your settings to your um, home screen and make sure you choose app library this way whatever apps you're downloading is not going to go to your main screen but it will go to your library right here and this way when you go down you can choose you can see all the apps you have downloaded very neat another cool feature is well this one you need to turn it off is when you go to your settings uh, go to settings and then go on to your privacy and location service and then come all the way down say for example Instagram before it was as turned on like Instagram is looking to get your precise location uh, I don't feel comfortable so I rather turn that off but you can check for all the other apps that are using your precise location and then One of my favorite one is before Apple only had Safari as your default browser, now you can have Chrome as your default browser. So let's show you how. You just pretty much go to your settings and come all the way down and find Chrome right here. And then you're gonna go on default browser app. If it's Safari, change it to Chrome. And voila, from now on, whatever you open, it'll Chrome into it will open into Chrome for you. So another cool feature Apple release is the sound recognition. So you can go to your settings and your accessibility and come down and hit sound recognition. You can turn that on and this way you will have if there's a fire, if there's a siren, smoke, cat or dog, whoever's barking, it will notify you if your phone is close to that sound. Pretty cool, right? Say if I'm browsing my phone, my apps, and someone calls you, guess what? The phone call will be right here. It will not cover the whole page so you can still browse, but you can definitely put that away and it'll be in, on top right here. Pretty cool, I love that feature. Another cool feature is picture in picture. You can actually watch your favorite movies right in the background while browsing your app. I love this feature. Pretty late, but hey, better late than never, you know? I love now everything here is a stack as a app library, so all of your apps is pretty much in order for social media, creativity, shopping, entertainment, everything is in nice in their own place. Pretty neat. This feature is long coming. When you go to your settings, 
you're gonna go down to your camera and here you can turn on your mirror front camera before whenever you take a selfie it will flip the picture when you click this it will just be as it is you know the way you shoot your selfie it'll come the way it's supposed to be you know so a cool, pretty cool feature in other ways if for example um, you want to take a video uh, here on top now you can choose as a 4k or HD depending on whatever frame you want again pretty cool feature so if you don't know by now your there's a little green uh, dot right here that means um, an app is using both your microphone and your camera with your knowledge and then the way to get to know what is happening here is on top it says your camera is using both your uh, uh, camera and also your microphone say for example if you, an app is using both your camera and microphone and you're not comfortable with you can come down to your control center and maybe delete that app if it's orange orange means only um, microphone not the camera this is pretty cool you go on your settings and go all the way down to your camera right here and you can actually preserve your settings now uh, camera mode creative controls and exposure what that means if you're shooting a, v a video then you turn off your camera then it automatically resets to photo so when you hit this it will stay in the video mode and if you preserve your last use filter then whatever filter you use here for example black and white uh, you took a picture it will stay as black and white pretty neat right